Senator Lyons. Thank you, Mr. De Deputy President. And I rise today to take uh, note of answers to questions that uh, Labor asked in the question time today, and I particularly want to focus on um, the comments, the questions, uh, the answers um, Minister Scullion gave to issues around uh, homelands in Western Australia. And, um, this is a subject near and dear to my heart and a subject that I've raised in this place uh, on three or four occasions. And I have to say that his uh, response today was completely incorrect. Uh, the, pr the Premier of West Australia has stood up and said to Aboriginal uh, people in Western Australia, without a skerrick of consultation, 273 homeland communities are not viable. Now, the back story there is that uh, about three months ago, Minister Scullion stood in this place and said some D WA welcomed the opportunity to, to lose $90 million in funding to homeland communities, and it welcomed the opportunity to take control of municipal services in those communities. And nothing could have been further th from the truth, because at the same time that uh, Minister Scullion was making those claims, uh, Mike Nahan, the Treasurer, and the, Prime, and the Premier, Mr Barnett, were well and truly saying quite the opposite. They were absolutely sheeting home the blame for the state of homeland communities for having these potential forced closures absolutely at the feet of the Abbott government. And I can't believe the hypocrisy that goes on in here. I seriously can't. And somehow today it's Labor that's scaremongering. So we have a Liberal Premier in Western Australia that announces doesn't even actually know where these communities are, wouldn't have a clue, doesn't have a list, just announces, out of the blue, no consultation, 273 people will lose their homes. Now let's just look at some of the rural towns in Western Australia where whitefellas live that perhaps aren't viable. No threat to them. This is an attack on Aboriginal people right across this country by the Abbott government and by Liberal state governments, particularly the Western Australian government. We had last year the Abbott government receive a Twiggy Forest report, and it was a bit too far to the right for them. And they said at that time there'd be no basics card. Now what are they doing? Another backflip. Looks as if uh, Aboriginal people in this country will be forced onto some kind of cashless economy from their billionaire mate Twiggy Forest, who wouldn't have a clue what it's like to live the tough life that some Aboriginal people. Uh, live in Western Australia and indeed across the country. All of this, all of this goes on, this demonisation of Aboriginal people and the communities they live in, when those communities, many of them, are very, very successful. But that completely passes Premier Barnett and Minister Scullion behind because they don't know anything about them. The Premier in Western Australia is yet to consult with Aboriginal communities, is yet to consult with one single homeland about what its future is after the two years, the mere pittance that the Abbott government has given to homeland communities to survive on, runs out. Not a skerrick, not a word, nothing. And uh, last week we saw thousands and thousands of West Australians march on the state parliament and let Premier Barnett and his mean-spirited Liberal government know in no uncertain terms that the, Austra the West Australian community would not cop people being thrown off their homelands. Now, of course, after he made that announcement that uh, homeland communities would close directly as a result of the uh, withdrawal of funding by Minister Scullion, uh, he's now backpedalled a little bit, Premier Barnett, saying, well, nobody will be forced off their lands. Well, if they have their water cut off, or they have their school closed, or there's no uh, electricity, they will be forced off their lands. And WA has got a long history of forcing Aboriginal people off their lands, while ignoring that many of them have viable businesses there. There is a very strong micro tourism going on, but do, but do either Minister Scullion or Premier Barnett bother to, uh, to know or to inform themselves about that? Of course they don't. And it is long over time that, that uh, Aboriginal people, particularly in Western Australia, were treated with respect uh, and dignity and not forced to leave the, their traditional lands. And it just shows how out of touch this Abbott government is and the government of Western Australia is when they continue to demonise 
uh, Aboriginal people and the communities they live in. It is time to sit down and talk. Thank you.